Nigeria's finance budget and national planning minister says the West African country's economy has seen growth in spite of the COVID pandemic. In a sit-down interview with VOS Peter Claudi, Zainab Shamsuna Ahmed also talks about the budget for next year's vote and job creation for the youth. We're here in, in New York uh, seeking to strengthen our partnerships and also forge new ones, inviting investors to come and invest in the different sectors in our economy, from the agricultural sector to energy, uh, manufacturing, financial services is doing very well uh, in the country. But information technology and the digital economy is also uh, providing a lot of opportunities, especially for the digital survey uh, entrepreneurs. So Nigeria is ready uh, for business and it's open and we're listening to what the investors want and we will design fiscal policies that will support investments uh, inflow into, into the country. Talking about uh, investors coming to Nigeria, how will their investments be protected? Talking about policies uh, to invest in, in Nigeria, how will they be protected in terms of uh, when they invest the profits they get to repatriate it back to where they are or reinvest it? How will the investment be protected, if I may ask you, Madam? So when you, when you say protection, let me just say that Nigeria has never appropriated any investment. So when you come in as an investor in Nigeria, your investment is safe. Government will not take over your investment. Now, what assurances are you giving these investors? Because I heard you speak at the event. You tell them, come and invest. Nigeria is ready for business. What assurances are you getting, are you giving them to, that will make it attractive for them to come and invest in Nigeria? Well, we're telling them that you get the highest returns of, on investment in Nigeria. Check the numbers. There is nowhere in the African continent where you get the kind of returns that you get in Nigeria. Are there risks? Yes. Risks are, uh, are, are there. In some cases, risks are elevated. But that's the same reason why investors do their due diligence before coming in. So the ones that have been able to come in should uh, uh, tell you that they are making good profits. And we've told investors, look into the kind of investors that are in Nigeria and the kind of returns that they are making. That is a signal that shows that Nigeria, uh, Nigeria's economy is really a good place to do business.